Hi everyone, I'm JD from We Love Anne Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. And in this video, I am sharing all the journals that I used in 2021. There's quite a lot of them. There's a whole bunch next to me um, off camera as well. Um, but I thought I'd share with you roughly in the order that I used them. So this one actually goes back from 2020 until January 2021. So this was one of my daily journals um, that I took with me in a traveler's notebook, like a traveler's notebook cover that I took with me to Melbourne for holidays. And because I always like taking a travel um, journal down with me when I go down there. Um, and so yeah, this one I really enjoyed working in more in the junk journal style. Whenever I go on holidays, I pick up more ephemera from my day-to-day -day life. Um, and because it was Christmas, you know, wrapping paper and stuff like that. And I also took down a little travel kit with me, some washi tapes and decorations and different bits and pieces. So if there was a day that I didn't go out or do anything, I could still make the page look pretty and decorate it. I love this page here so pretty got some feathers in here and a coin <laughs> um, and just so rich and full of memories um, this journal so very glad that I kept this one and recorded this time of my life and then I came back to Bowen and did some more journaling in here and I made this journal as well and it's got my name there so I really enjoyed this journal working in this one and then when I came back to Bowen in January, this is what I used. This one came from the lovely Sue. It was gifted to me. Um, and then, yeah, it's just got sort of the same kind of thing, but a little less visual because all the pages are blank. And yeah, lots of fun memories recorded in here. My roller skates. <laughs> so excited to get my roller skates. Oh my gosh, I love those things so much. Um, I've done proper flip throughs, full flip throughs of all of these journals on my channel. Whenever I finish one, I try to do a, a full flip through at the end. Yeah, my roller skates, they're so fun. <laughs> um, so I'm just doing a quick flip through in this video so that it doesn't get too long. I mean, it's already gonna be a pretty long video, so you might wanna sit back and relax, grab something yummy to drink and eat. <laughs> Um, and I hope that this video gives you some inspiration for your own journaling in 2022 to see what's possible. I'm going to show you quite a few different styles here. Like there's a whole bunch of different types of journals, different sizes. Um, and so hopefully this gives you some inspiration and ideas for the things you can do. This one came from the lovely Heather um, from Kaluna Creates. And this was when I went back down to Melbourne and... Um, Again, there's lots of ephemera in this one from real life ephemera. So, lots of pretty things. This one was a bit more of a personal journal, so I reserved um, the full foot through, I think, of this one to my um, patrons. So, what I don't share on my channel, I generally share on Patreon if it's too personal to go full on public. <laughs> um, the fox became one of my symbols this year, uh, last year, 2021. <laughs> and I try to put a lot of photos in my journals. I think photos are one of the best things to enhance your journaling. Um, so I definitely want to do a lot more photography for my journals. Um, and what came after this one? I'm not too sure, but then I had a novelty one. So these were like daily journals uh, because this year I did do daily journaling, not necessarily journaling every single day, but a page per day, or I left a space to fill backfill what I did each day. And then this one was one that I did for the Tiffany Julia art journal course. And um, this journal I got from Moonside Parlor last year. And yeah, so this was a bit more of a, novelty type of journal not a daily just one for the course so yeah really fun i like how visual this one is again and putting lots of photos in here <laughs> my beautiful cat keanu pretty much goes in every single one of my journals <laughs> it's 
So these are all going to be great records to look back on. And then I just started doing straight writing and it turned into a daily journal because the first half I used for the course. And when I finished the course, I just used it for daily journaling. So you can see I do quite a lot of writing in some places. Um, and then what else? Then I, I also did my journaling courses. So this, this and this, plus another one off camera. Um, were for my journaling courses. I won't do a flip through of this one. It's quite personal. This is for the people who did the Willow course, their eyes only. If you'd like to do the Willow course, let me know. <laughs> All of my courses are available. Again, they can they run every single month. So this was the Anchor Journal course. And this was my favorite course that I ran last year. I ran four courses last year. The Willow course was all about um, a journaling basics course for the total beginner to get away the intimidation of starting a new journal um, and embracing your handwriting and just throws a whole bunch of daily prompts at you and um, it's also for people who are more advanced journalists who have lost inspiration or who are just looking for some structure um, and some new ideas. And then the anchor course, this was all about finding our anchors, finding, going back to our roots and finding our centre and being grounded. Um, and so this is a place we can always go back to to find ourselves and recognise ourselves on the page. When life changes or we're feeling a bit lost, this is a place that holds us safe. <clears throat> and we can always find ourselves here. <laughs> Excuse my voice, just woke up again. <laughs> Um, so there's lots of prompts for this one to help us find different anchors in our life, both current and ones that are, have been life anchors that have always been with us. Um, yeah, this book was a huge anchor in my life. Speaking of that book, that was one of my journals this year. Again, I share this one more personally over on my channel, but this became a wonderful journal for me. Um, lots of personal writing in that one, so yeah. Um, then we have, let's have a look. What's next? Oh, then we had the art journal course. So that was this one that I did in a visual diary. And it is a lot more personal as well. Um, you know, get angry. <laughs> I had some anger that I needed to express. I had some... Yeah, the anger monster, um, that was a dream that I drew, uh, some other different things, some collages, some timelines, more collages. So this was for the art journal course and their eyes only. We did some blackout poetry and what gives you joy, draw what gives you joy and um, patchwork drawing and feelings pages, that was quite fun some black pages which was quite fun color pages I loved doing the color pages they were awesome so this was all about not creating something beautiful it was just about creating something that connects with our heart it was purely about raw self-expression so that we could get in touch with who we are and have an outlet for our frustrations our stress our worries our joys our happiness all in here and it's for our eyes only so we don't have to worry about it looking beautiful and we don't have to worry about making mistakes. This is just a pure self-expression um, exercise to help us um, with our mental health and well-being and all that kind of thing. And, you know, just getting messy and going back to being like a child and just, you know, really fun stuff and exploring colours and paints and different things. So that was the art journal course. Then the final journal course that I did, let's just skip to this one since we're talking about the journal courses right now, um, was the Reflections journal course that I ran in December. And this is all about um, reflecting on the year of 2021 so that we could um, process it, get everything good that came out of it, uh, document the year, um, and also uh, help us let go of the year, say goodbye, so we could move on to 2022. And this one I have available now as well. Um, and it's actually a bonus, a two-in-one course. The January course that I'm running in January is a New Year Intentional Life course. Um, and so you get this one as a bonus for free as well, uh, in case you didn't do it and you want to reflect on the year. This was so fun, I love this page. <laughs> um, and then 
timeline and favorites and I still have to do this back page with an ending page to round out the year so that's the reflections course and yeah like I said if you wanted to sign up for the January course um, all the information will be down below in the description box um, but that's just where we set up the year um, and then there's an option to stay on for the whole year uh, for accountability with a support group and all that kind of thing so let me share the next in a series of personal journals which was this one so this one is a bit more uh, plainer I just did mostly writing in this one as a daily journal but you can see some fun things in there as well then it went on to this one this one come, came from the lovely Michelle which was a collaboration with Johanna Clough who designed the journal so that was really fun then this one here I tried to do a more visual style uh, but it ended up just being writing near the end as well um, but I did try to include lots of real life ephemera and things like that in fact no that's actually quite visual I'm quite happy with that yeah I like it I really like it <laughs> and then this one was a novelty one as well this was a list journal so I, oh it's upside down I did a course with Liz Lamaru called here five things where we did um, lists in our journal and this is when I got to use my typewriter a lot and like typed a little poem there and all that kind of thing so I'm gonna do ones that I haven't done a flip through of yet Oh, I will do a proper flip through later on so you can see them as well and yeah I love this little journal this is so cute this one came from Kylie from Paper Daisy Journals um, and then my faith journal here so let's just put that there again to give something nice to look at in that spot my faith journal you guys have seen this one um, it's almost finished just want to fill up a few more pages I guess and then I'll do a proper flip through a final flip through um, and it's been so fun working in here just recording you know what God has been speaking to me about and um, making really visual pages this is more of a definite junk journal journal <laughs> um, and yeah it was really fun really really fun to get more visual in here and that is that so I made this one inspired by Amity Bloom and then let me show you some art journals some more art journals this one was one when I took another course by Sabrina Ward Harrison called Full Color Life and yeah this was so good loved it loved it loved it and I'm sort of modeling my new year living intentionally <laughs> intentional living course after this because um, it was just run so well and um, I'm taking a lot of ideas from there in ways that it was run um, so that is exciting like we're trying out Marco Polo as a thing as a tool for connection because um, that worked really well in the full color life course I'm not going to put through this one actually this one is just plain writing but I just want to show you I, I do also use plain lined journals um, that's for me just to write down my thoughts often before I go to bed and just get things out get things out um, and I do also use a journal on my laptop so I have a word document and anytime I feel like I just need to write quickly um, I have that journal there too <laughs> so I have so many journals my goodness from the year but I'm a journaler it's what I do I believe in journaling as a tool to help with our well-being I don't say it's a replacement for therapy but it's very therapeutic and then here's one where I just did an art journal another little outlet this was a little project that I was trying to do I really enjoy watercolor as a art medium so I did quite a bit of um, acrylic as well actually I love these pastel colors so I did all color mixing and all of these colors I mixed myself myself I didn't get very far with this but I can definitely continue on with that so more like a scrapbook journal and then finally the last journal I have to share with you is my big one the 2021 journal so this is another one that I made and this is my favorite style of journal it's just quite big so it takes a long time to fill up <laughs> um, so I'm still kind of going with it but this is where I record the big events from the year um, 
and it also became a daily journal so in some places I do some daily journaling when I was in between daily journals and I didn't know what I was going to journal in next I just used this um, so this is my year journal which I usually do every year have a yearly journal so it's just a good snapshot to record the year and look back on what happened um, and I, that's what I love about journaling it's a way to record our year document our memories um, it's not just an outlet, a creative outlet and a therapeutic outlet, but it's a way to actually preserve our memories. So yeah, this is where it got into some daily journaling. And then I've still got some blank pages to fill up. Birthday pages. Oh, keepsake August. I'm so glad I stuck this in there because that's something I want to remember, you know, 10 years from now. Who was part of it? What were the prompts? That's fun. Definitely recorded full colour life, painting with my hands, painting with my feet. Um, yeah, more artwork that I did. And other fun things. So yeah, that is that journal. Almost finished for the year. And um yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of journals, isn't it? So um, I hope this gave you some inspiration for starting your own journal or continuing journaling. Um, and yeah, like I said, um, I use a lot of journals in different styles. So don't be afraid to try different styles, try different um, thicknesses and uh, sizes and um, different ways of journaling. You can do daily, you can do yearly, you can do fun ones. Journal courses really help me. Journal courses keep me um, cre creating, keep me journaling, keep me recording memories, and I find having prompts super helpful, um, yeah, to get me journaling. So, and they do wonders for my well-being. So, yeah, that's kind of why I started my journaling courses, so I could give back and do the same thing for others with the things that help me, passing them on to you. Anyway, so, <laughs> those are my journals. Let me know if you had a favourite one. Let me know... Um, what journals you used in 2021 and what journals you might be using in 2022. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. A big bye. special thank you to all my patrons in December who supported me and Willow Band Journals with the vision to bring light and love to the world through storytelling, journaling, and creativity and inspiration. You guys, without you, I could not do what I do full time. So thank you, thank you so much. You allow me to do videos and make journals and teach journaling courses. So know that you are having a huge impact on not only my life, but all the people who watch the videos, uh, get one of my journals or do one of my courses. If you would like to become a patron in January, uh, the link will be down below in the description box. That gives you access to extra videos, printables, behind the scenes looks, personal updates, first access to my journals and you'll be just supporting me and I just can't thank you enough for that helping my dream come true. May you journal your life because your stories matter.